What's up dudes, Boss Lovies from Boss Gaming, and today I have a tutorial on how to update your JTAG to 13146, I think it's the correct dashboard, so this is my JTAG console, um, you can see the wires down there, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, my room's a bit messy if you see anything weird, so <laughs> not weird, but close on the ground. I'm just too lazy to hook up my HDPR and do editing from this. So. And that's just gotta get this camera adjusted right. There's been a lot of problems with this freeboot, so if you have troubles with it, just message me and I can help you. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the controller. I'm gonna sync to the JPEG. Go ahead and scroll on over here to system settings, console settings. Let's scroll down to system info, and you're gonna see it's on 12625 right now. And one of the things you'll need is XEX menu and Flash 360. So you're gonna go on over here to game library, XEX menu, and click play game. Okay, so I'm going to put this flash drive in, which has flash 360 on it. So I'm going to put it in, go up here, there it is, flash 360, I'm going to click in there. Make sure you have your media folder, your JTAG will shut off, but click flash360.xex. Just to get your original name, go ahead and press X, A, and it's going to start saving your NAN. Make sure you have a copy of this, because uh, with the new freeboot there's a lot of errors and you want you might have to reflash if it doesn't work go ahead and press any button press back and back and now you can go ahead and turn off the JTAG take this guy and stick it into your computer since I'm using parallels it's going to ask me to choose windows and you're going to go ahead and open up a JTAG tool I always got to run as admin this is Cool Shrimps. I just realized I have to download the update. I haven't done this yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. It's going to start downloading the update. And you can see that it's going to take a few minutes to download. Uh, I'll go ahead and wait for it to finish. Just so I guess you can see the full process. Uh, there's going to be... <coughs> A lot of things that you need to know about your JTAG console. One, what type of wiring method you have. If you have the three resistors, you have to specifically say you have the three resistors. I, I have the two diodes. If you have um, something like uh, odd clamp on a HDMI, make sure that you do odd clamp. Uh, select odd clamp uh, for what you're using. Oh, we need my CPU key. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to stop the video right now. I'm going to grab my CPU key. Which, your CPU key can be found by booting Excel. Uh, so, but I got it too. I'm going to go ahead and install this really quick. I've got it saved on my other computer. but So, I'm going to go grab that. And then, uh, that's installed now. Okay, run as admin. Click yes. And you'll see that it's been updated. So here's my CPU key. I just right click and copy it. And now you're going to want to minimize this. And you're going to want to open Flash Tool. Flash Tool. What's this? And click on this 360 Flash Tool. And the reason you want to open this is then you're going to go to Open File. And you're going to go to your flash drive. It's the removable disk. Go to Flash 360 and open your Flash360.bin. It's going to say bad KV over here. That's just because I don't have my right CPU key in. Great, I said about. I have to, I'm going to have to reopen this guy. Put 
this is always really annoying. There we go. So go ahead and open file. So it says bad KV. I'll go to settings, keys, and you're going to put your CPU key right here. Paste in my CPU key and click OK. And it's going to, and then go ahead and open your file again. So that said wrong CPU key, which if I go to settings, keys, you can go through and check. And you're going to copy this one because it corrected. It said I might have hit an O or something. Copy. Click OK. Minimize that. Come up here to JTAG tool. I'm going to paste in my CPU key. That's my CPU key. I'm going to come over here to the settings thing. I'm going to go to drivers and options. And you can see I'm going to have it set to 13146. I'm using original. There's odd clamp only. And there's odd clamps and DVD. So I'm going to choose original because that's what I'm using. Original. I'm using Zell. Right. Yeah, I'm using Zell. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, create freeboot. I'm going to go to my removable disk. I'm going to go to flash 360 and I'm going to select my flash DMP and it's going to go like this you're going to press enter you're going to press enter again and you're going to save freeboot.bin to your flash drive and now that's saved go ahead and open up your flash drive flash 360 go inside of here to your freeboot it's going to read me now I don't know that's just that's all never mind so I go to freeboot right click click uh, rename and you're gonna rename it up the flash or wait crap I forget what to rename it be right back. sorry yeah it is up the flash up and I just couldn't remember so now you're going to go ahead and take all of this, the media folder and Flash 360 and everything. And, well, you're not going to, uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? Delete Flash DMP. Why can't I remove this? Take your up to flash stop in. Go ahead and open. Oh yeah, why did I say open? Copy. And then you gotta go to back to flash 360. Alright, now you gotta go back to your room. Sorry, I'm just having trouble. It's in the morning, I'm tired. Go ahead and paste in your uh, up to flash to the root of your USB drive. Go ahead and then close it. You're gonna remove it. Now there's two ways that you can do this. You can take your root of your your USB and you can unplug the power brick. Unplug the AV cables, that's my DVD drive that just fell. Take out my DVD drive. And then you're gonna go ahead and stick your flash drive into the Xbox. And then you're gonna replug in your power brick and AV cables once you stick your flash drive in your Xbox. Actually, I've just remembered I can't boot Zell, so I'm going to show you the Flash 360 way. This way is probably easier anyway. So go ahead and turn on your J-Type. This is going to be a lot of editing. Edit out all those bad parts. Go ahead and go to this X menu, or actually X menu. Up the flash stop in. Go to Flash 360. There's your up the flash. Go to click on Flash 360. Go to uh, A, right up the.
A, B, start, start, A. It's just like you were flashing K, B. Except you're not, you're flashing free B. There's so many problems with the new free boat. Go ahead and click A. Click back. Back. And it's going to shut down. Really hope this worked. It's going to shut down. And now you want to unplug your power brick and your AV cables. And you want to count to 10. Plug everything back in. Go ahead and turn it on. And you just hope. Yeah, it looks like we got a picture. Which is always good. Is it gonna go to Yes, this is what you want. You want to be going through this selection. I'm going to change my display to HD because that's what I like. Make sure you have a hard drive in when you go through this because you don't want to have to go through it again. should get dashboard. Go all the way over to system info or system settings. Console settings, system info. And there you go. Your dash is at 13146. This has been Boss Lobbies with a tutorial on how to update your JTAG to 2.0.13146.0 or Freeboot 5. It will not give you online access, but it's worth it to update.